Welcome back, everybody, to the Southern Mountain Creamery. Here on Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller's channel. Folks, I have no idea. Well, I, I, I had that ready to say and I, I messed it up again. I got uh, AG Baby Girl Val behind me. I got uh, Brad M73 on the combine. And, uh,. You guessed it. You look at the top. Right up there, your sheep needs grass. Your sheep productivity is low. Um, trying to find a way back in there again. Uh, I, I think it's through here. Uh, don't hold me to it. That's, I tried the other way and I couldn't find nothing. So I'm like, oh, you know, I got, I got to. Uh, Oh. Bleh. Oh. Okay. I guess I gotta push it open. There we go. That's one way of doing it. Um, fix to put a chrome to work that we just bought on the last episode. Uh, I think I bought it in the last episode. I might have bought it off screen. I can't remember. Mr. Blue can't remember, folks. But uh, we got the truck, we got the uh, front loader with the spine forks, and um, yeah, there's our tractors up there, okay, I should say, it looks like we're going the right way. Yeah, I got a little mud hole we got to go through. Nice detail to this map, I got to say that for sure. But uh, I had one of the guys spray fertilize on the grass, and uh, we got our mower there that we're going to ride here in a minute. But before I do anything, I have to get a bell over to the sheeps, because they have no food, and uh, yeah, we're in debt 500000 by the way. Um, yeah. We gotta do something quick or they're not gonna be able to live. Uh hundred percent water. Well, ninety-nine percent water. Okay, y'all saw that there. Uh we're gonna get that food. So let me get this thing working here. I already made a round. Oh, that detaches. Get my uh menu up here. Uh turn on Baylor. Oh, okay. Lower pickup. There it goes. Change auto load delay to all. And uh, I don't know what these. Are. Oh, that's for the front forks. All right, let's pick up some grass. And we're going to start lagging. Of course, I'm recording. It's going to lag, Mr. Blue. Okay, folks, I swear it wasn't doing that earlier. Maybe it's the baler. I have no idea. Seems like I look that way and it does it. Or could it be doing like my game was doing on the other one? There we go. And it's still going to do it. Now I'm just doing something here. Okay. Just going to see if it's going to do it with pissing. That way, if it'll tell me if it's that mod or or what. It seems to be doing pretty good here. So sorry about that little lag right there. That's probably going to hurt my video. But, mm -hmm. 
some things you just got to do. Uh, our combine's around here somewhere. Um, this side's almost done. We've got about a quarter over there, a few ends that he didn't get all the way. So I'd say we'll probably might be halfway done this field. Oh, we still got a few stalks over there. I, I'm not going to worry about them. Of course, watch me go back and get them off screen. <laughs> oh, I should have went the other way. He's going to be around before I can get two of them there. But our other cart we had, it got full, went and dumped it, and we took that tractor and, of course, put it on the baler. You know, it might be what's wrong. That tractor don't have enough power. Oh, Nelly. I'm going to be in a curve. That's all right. And also, in the last episode, we had the other combine, the Case International Axle Flow. And now we have the uh, Massey Ferguson. Let me get them unloaded here. Take that box off, too, so we can see. We're about 76% loaded with corn. And he stops. Why he stop for? It wasn't fully loaded. Maybe we was in his way or something. I don't know. Then again, that might be on. Uh, wait there and unload. On. So... Oh, yeah, we're going to go this way. Let's turn that off. And he's 0%. So next time, he will... Uh, you know, what we got is the Massey Person Activa uh, 7347S. <clears throat> this me out. But we went with the same header. That way we knew, I knew, uh, probably could have went with the 12 row instead of the 8 row because the auger is plenty long enough. But, uh, I just want to make sure. And, um, I need to see if this tractor is going to bug out. Of course, I got to do that real quick, get my hood back up. Uh, let's turn the baler back on. Let's turn the baler off. Baler on. Oh, great. Baler off. Baler on. Folks, we have a mod issue. All right, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to have to do this till we get a full bale because I got to get some grass to the sheep. I should have done this first, then get the sheep, but the money was counting down. I had to refill the fertilizer and I knew if I refilled it first I wouldn't have no money so um go ahead and take this guy back but it's not the bail I mean it's not the game it, it's the baler the chrome baler uh, cause that's the baler off that runs good Run smooth. As soon as I turn the baler on, that uh, could be maybe the tractor don't have enough horsepower for it. Um, I want to stop. We want to disconnect this baby. Uh, yes, crop destruction is on. You can see some of the plants going when I turn. 
Um, oh, good. I was wondering if it was getting that or not. What are you doing? Alright, we're going to cancel that. We're going to turn it around. Because I have a feeling it's going to mess up and do something weird I don't want to. I actually thought about doing this with no mods. And I don't know what will happen if I turn all the mods off right now. But I um, really don't know. Alright, that's set. We got to uh, gotta get another tractor. So let's unhook the mower real quick. I'll just drop it here. This is the John Deere Moco. Cannot hire a worker. So, that kind of sucks. But yeah, the, the first through you make, you, you look, damage some crops. Or grass, I should say. It almost looks like when you run over the grass, you damage it too. Huh. Yeah, maybe some, but not much. But I just need like a bell or two and then we can go back to no interruptions. But I just want to bring y'all in you know, about the sheeps. I actually got 10 sheeps. Alright. And we're having the same problem. Same problem. So it's got to be the baler. I already got it three quarters away full, folks. So uh, I'm gonna jump cut here and get this bail full, and then uh, probably see what I can do about getting the cutting going, course play or something. I don't know if I can do that, and then I'll be back. I, I really wish this would have worked. Alright, that's our first bail. Just about. Oh, this is so embarrassing. So, um, not really embarrassing. It's just, I kind of was hoping this little guy was work. Because he was cheap. I can't remember what I paid for him, but he, he was pretty cheap. And now, I don't know if I have enough. I might have to borrow again. Alright, we're uh, 4,000 down at the bottom right. When it reaches 4,000, it will be a bell. And what I want to do is get the other tractor and take that to the sheeps. Um, since I'm so close, I doubt I'll jump cut. If y'all don't mind putting up with the, uh, what it's doing there. It's not, uh, I guess it is lag, but it's due to the baler. Because you can see how everything else was working good. Alright, we're so close. Um, plus, uh, you know, we're going to get the mower going, and then we're going to get, uh, the wind roller going, so we pile up. Oh, and we are full. You see, when it gets full, it took off good there. Uh, how do we uh, unload balers? Why? Um, I think my game just froze. It did. It's doing just like Blake Farms did. That kind of makes me wonder if that's the bad mod that's making the whole game. Um, I can't save it, folks. Um, let's 
it's not letting me detach or anything. Now look at that. As soon as I detached the baler, it worked. And it didn't give me a bail. No bail whatsoever. Plus this had attachment for something out on the side. I don't know what that was for. But. I'm going to call the, the shop. And uh, tell them. I'm having problems with this baler and see if they will cut me a deal. So I'm going to do a jump cut and I'll be right back, folks. Just a second. Be right back. 